Okay, next question. Hey Greg, I love this site and all the workout videos. Very happy with your size. So, can how you can stay so ripped all the time? Do you think it's possible to stay at such a low body fat while while training to gain mass? I'm about 185, 16 percent body fat. I want to gain another 10 pounds of pure muscle. Can I do that if um, at a single digit body fat? Thanks, man. Um, you know, I get this all the time, and it, it's kind of bizarre. Like. People will be like, yeah, yeah, so, you know, I'm weighing in about, you know, 205 right now, and uh, I just want to put it on another five pounds. Like, like, kiss my ass, man. Like, what's the five pounds going to do? What, are you going to see that five pounds in the mirror or anything else? Or, no, what it is, they just want to be 210. You know, for the ego of being 210, you know? That's, that's, that's just crap. It doesn't matter how much you weigh, especially in the fitness world, for your fitness models. If you're 145 pounds or you're 245 pounds, you can't tell the difference in photography unless there's something to relate your portionality with. You know? If the computer, the candles are this big, right? In my hand, right? Same candle in someone else's hand, it looks even bigger. Well, now there's something to draw proportionality to to see how much bigger something is. There's a relative scale there. Most fitness models, you shoot by yourself and you're like this, you know, whatever else. You don't have somebody next to you. Sometimes you have a guy, girl, sometimes you do, but the majority of the time it's just you doing the, the workout. So another five pounds doesn't really do much now, does it? What you want to do is forget what the scale says. Worry about what the mirror looks like. What does it mean? Everything's proportioned, you know? It's, everything's symmetric, you know? You can go online and look up, you know, symmetry of the human body and everything else. It'll say that your, your bicep should be the size of your calf or this or that, whatever. The, I forget exactly what it is. But you just want to look in the mirror and see, like, yeah, everything's looking trim. You know, the waistline comes in, the chest is full, shoulders roll back. You know, I look proportioned. Worry about that. Don't worry about the extra 5, 10 pounds or I'm at 185. 16% body fat, I want to gain another 10 pounds of pure muscle. What does that mean, by the way? 10 pounds of pure muscle, not muscle, but pure muscle. Um, guys, you're making it too hard on yourself. You really are. It, it doesn't have to be like, like pure muscle to, uh, you know, like 90% muscle, or I want to gain good weight, not bad weight, and everything else. 16% body fat, um, you know, you're not really going to see your abs unless you're down to single digits. You know, we all have them, but we got that layer covering them. Um, and then someone was also talking earlier about, um, um, you know, they had a little bit of a gut still. The way your body works, like for males at least, for women it's their hips, for guys it's their gut. Your body stores fat, right? It's a protective layer, especially around the organs and everything else. Um, so your body is sort of dissipating fat off the limbs before the core, where all the, the vital, you know, life organs are. So um, it's, that's, that's the last place for it to go is your gut, you know? So, Know that. Know that if, it's, if that's all you got left, then guess what? It's going to start hitting there now. People are like, if I do a lot of sit-ups, so I get, you know, you know, a six-pack. Well, yeah, you'll get a six-pack underneath that gut. That gut won't leave until you get down to a lower body fat through cardio. So 185, 16% body fat. Can you still gain lean 10 more pounds of pure muscle at a lower single-digit body fat? Yes, you can. 100%. A lower body fat, your body's more efficient. You can do it all day long, but the only thing is you've got to keep changing the system up, you know? When you're at a low body fat, your body is searching for energy, so you must always put food in its stomach, or your body will find energy by breaking down muscle mass. Your body does not see this muscle you're putting on as something attainable and something to hold on to. It sees it as an energy source. Tap into it at will whenever you need it, you know? So if you don't have something in your gut, food-wise, to act like an ozone layer around the muscle protect, get away, body. Don't eat me up, man. Here's some food. Eat that shit up. That's the psychology behind it. Also keeps your metabolism high, you know, that five, six meals a day. All right, so hopefully that answers your question. But don't worry about it. Hey, I, want to put a, I just want to put another five pounds of muscle on, you know. It, it, you're not going to see it, man. Don't, don't worry about what the scale says. You know, you can drink a thing of water, you know, that's a pound and a half right there. Is that, are you closer to your goal? How do you know? Are you really like going through like, you know, a body fat test every single week to know when that five pounds or 10 pounds of muscle has been put on or not put on? And by the way, an accurate body fat test isn't a tape test, it isn't a caliper pinchers, it's submersion or electrolysis and they're gonna run you some good coin, man. So, um, you yeah, know, don't worry about all, if you have six, yeah. All right, enough on that one, okay. But thank you for the email.